All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Jay Jones on behalf of Cincinnati Soccer Talk here at the Fretboard Brewing Company in Blue Ash, where FC Cincinnati gets a win finally. <laughs> 1 0 over Montreal Impact over Montreal. I mean, two months that we've been waiting for a win. Man, this, this feels good. How do you feel tonight? I feel excellent. Uh, great crowd here tonight, and uh, great to watch our FCC man uh, finally get that W that we've been looking for for a long, long time. But uh, uh, defense played great. Uh, offense did what they needed to tonight, and we got the W, and uh, couldn't be happier tonight. I mean, we got to hear, I think, maybe around like 7.30 before, 7.30, 7.34, we're still waiting for the match to come on, and then the notification comes on that Alan Cruz, our, our, our guy, <laughs> gets the first goal in the first minute, and there was a stat that came up, I believe you actually showed me this, that he has, I think, six of his goals this year are within like the uh, four of those goals are within the first minute. Do, do we expect anything less from Alan Cruz just being in the right place at the right time? I think Alan Cruz has just done what he's wanted to do all year, and that's just be in the right spot at the right time. Uh, you couldn't ask for better uh, from a man that's uh, seen international play and uh, giving his all for FCC. Uh, he's just done tremendous this season. He's really stood out uh, amongst uh, our guys this year, and uh, it's shown tonight. He was in the right spot, right time, and hit that goal right as we were <laughs> turning it over tonight. I mean, this is kind of one of those things that we expect from FC Cincinnati. I mean, it was going to be pretty soccer. It's not going to, and it wasn't going to be easy. But I mean, you saw them for 90 minutes plus, just be physical, gutted out the entire time. Obviously, we took a couple of knocks. We I mean we saw Mattis go down. Alan Cruz is probably out um, for the next game, depending on his status. Watson's out. I mean, you saw physicality. You just like what you saw tonight overall from our guys, regardless of maybe some sloppy play here and there. I really did. Uh, you really saw the fight that uh, you know, we've been you know, crying for this season. Uh, I know the players have been really, you know, putting forth the effort, but tonight it just sort of came together a little better. And granted, we've got some bumps and bruises we're going to have to, you know, play through and some red cards, but uh, tonight they just show the way you win a, a match, and that's just, you know, beating your man to the ball, and uh, we wanted it more tonight, and that's why we got the W. So, like I said, we got two matches that are coming up next week: Wednesday, Atlanta, Chicago on on Saturday. What do you What are your expectations for those matches coming up? Do you just want to see more of this grit that we've been showing, that we showed tonight? Maybe bring it into those matches. Maybe we can see if we can maybe squeak out a result. I think tonight, showing the effort that they showed tonight on the road, and then if they can bring that effort back to Nippert, uh, I see nothing but a great uh, result that can come from it. Uh, Atlanta's an excellent team. They should be at the top of uh, MLS uh, at the end of the year. Uh, but, you know, we've already tied them once, so we've got a great chance. Uh, the effort that they showed tonight is going to be what they have to bring Wednesday and again uh, on Saturday against the Fire. And final question for you. You're man of the match tonight. Who would you give that to? Uh, it's going to be Jal uh, because he just played hard. Uh, he played hard you know, no matter whether he was on the defensive end or on the offense, he found players, he, he was mixing it up. He played so much better than I saw him play the last match. Um, he just uh, stepped up his game, and it showed, and it helped, you know, helped bring the W tonight.